Hi, this is the EEG guy, and now I'm going to show you sleep EEG. So what happens in sleep, we won't have any more alpha waves because that's, those are waves for when patients are awake. When somebody goes to sleep, all the alpha is gone. What you're left with is a lot slower EEG. As you can see on the screen now, some of the markers of sleep, as you know, you have different several stages of sleep. You have stage one, which is drowsiness. That's when the alpha starts to drop out and uh, it'll be a lot less than usual. Then you have stage two. Now what happens in stage one, in addition to alpha dropping out, there's these markers that is called vertex wave that they happen right at the center of the brain on this electrode called CZ right in the middle of your head over here on your scalp. So you see they are phase reversing. So that tells me that's a vertex wave. That tells me the patient is in stage one of sleep. Where I move down here, I see in addition to vertex wave, there are these very fast activities. These are about anywhere from 14 to 20 hertz, and they are called sleep spindles. They tell me that I'm in stage two of sleep. And again, uh, there are a couple other stages, stage three and stage four, and then REM, with, where that rapid eye movement occurs. However, in EEG, which is about a half hour recording, usually you don't get REM because REM takes normally 90 minutes before uh, the patient starts with REM after the onset of sleep. In any regard, as I said, uh, because alpha waves are markers of being awake, there is none of it here. This patient is in stage two sleep because I know they have vertex waves and they have sleep spindles. There's another marker of them that I don't have here. Here's several more vertex waves and I'm just gonna keep moving down. There are K complexes and uh, this may be one of them. It's a very busy, it's got, it's got all channels involved and there's a K comp um, vertex wave in there and bunch of spindles around it. So that's again, marker of stage two. So the next thing that would happen on this patient, if they continue to sleep, they're gonna enter stage three perhaps, or bounce back to stage one. In any regard, those are deep sleep and we're not interested in those in diagnosis of seizure. We wanna see the light sleep. I hope this helped with your introduction to the EEG of sleep. Thank you.